So I've gotten a lot of requests on creating a guide on how to stream Magic Online version 4.0. And so this is what that's what this is, a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download OBS. Okay? You're going to need to download Open Broadcasting Source and you're going to need to open it. And when you open it, you want to go to preview you want to click on preview stream at the bottom. All right? Now for me, because I've already got one set up, this is what it shows me. Now, if you want, I, so my step-by-step -step guide is going to let you be able to see something just like this on your own, on your own stream. So your first step you're going to need to do is you're going to need to right-click. You're going to go to, this is going to be all blank for you instead of having all these scenes. You're going to go to add scene. Let's call it Magic Online 4.0. You can call it whatever you want, something you can know. You're going to get a blank screen. This is fine. This is okay. You're allowed to do this. Next thing you're going to want to do is you want to go to add and you want to go to monitor capture. So monitor capture. And then you're going to want to select monitor one and push okay. Now, and this is my monitor one. Now, when you stream, you're going to, you, it's very, very, it's very, very hard to do with only one monitor. I really suggest if you're going to be streaming to have at least two monitors. It doesn't have to be a good monitor, just any monitor whatsoever. So you can have OBS and some windows open on the other screen. Uh, I have Magic Online open, but it's not showing. And this is the most common question I receive. The way to remedy this is when you go to monitor capture, when you added it, I could have done it earlier, but I just wanted to show you how do you get, how do you get this problem. And you have to select, you have, so you right click on monitor capture, and then you go to properties, and then you go to capture layered windows. When you do this, voila, Magic Online appears. Now, the area, uh, I guess the next thing we probably want to do is webcams are pretty important so that the viewer can, can kind of connect with uh, with uh, the streamer. So what you're going to want to do is have, it can be any, any webcam at all. Uh, it's up to you on which one to get. What you want to do is you want to add and you want to add a global, well, I guess global sources are actually right here. So you want to click on global sources and you want to go to add. I've already added one. I'm going to show you a star one from stretch. You just go to add. You want to go to add and you want to go to video capture device. This means a webcam. A webcam. Uh, this is a test webcam. Okay. So adding that. And then you want to go to device and you want to choose whatever device you have. I have Microsoft Live, or Live Cam Studio. And then you push. Once you've got all these settings correct, uh, these settings are going to be different for every, every camera and everything you want to be doing. You can even go in here and change the, the brightness and the white balance and stuff. It's very, it's time consuming, but that's not where this, okay, it already exists. Well, you would push okay and it would be added. Uh, I've already got it. So I guess I can just go to properties and show you what I mean. Uh, for my particular computer, it's 800 by 600 for the resolution. And then for my configuration, it's like this. But again, it's for you. It's, it's going it be completely different. So once you've added a global source, you're going to want to go over here, you want to go right click, you want to go to add global source, you're going to find your webcam. Call it whatever you like, and voila, we have a head. Okay. So, we have a head now. You can make it, you can resize it with, uh, when you go to, what you want to do is you want to click on edit scene to be able to move things, to change things how they want to be all, all around. Um, you can put your camera wherever you like. I prefer it in the top right corner. Now there are two ways to free manipulate this that are not obvious. Yet you're gonna have, need to have edit scene on, and you're gonna need, you can. This is constrained proportions right here. All right, constrained proportions means it goes if it's 800 by 600, it'll it'll maintain the uh, aspect ratio. Okay. Now if you want to crop, you know because because my head is not very big, is not I don't you don't need all this open space. We know all about that. You can hold on to the, you use one of your fingers and you hold on to the alt button and you can, you can cut some of this stuff off. All right. See, this is all possible. See, as long as you're holding on to alt, that's what it's going to do. Okay. And now you're going to see also that, see how it kind of snaps to edges. If you don't want it to snap to edges, you hold on to the control button. So you have one finger, you hold on to the control button. And then you can put whatever you want. It doesn't snap to anything. Those are like some hidden commands for OBS, just uh, for future reference. And if you don't, you wanted to reset it, just go to reset cropping, and it undoes all the work you've done. Okay, so I'm gonna put myself in the top right corner. 
But as you can see, we are pretty far away from from what this looks like, right? We're, I mean, we're two steps. We're, we're two steps there. The next thing you got to do is you got to have an overlay, okay? You don't have to have an overlay, but let me tell you, it looks a lot better when you have an overlay. Now, uh, creating an overlay is very easy. Uh, for, I'm going to give you an example, okay? The example that I have for you, let me see if I can find okay, This is what I'm looking for. So here... This is uh, this is the overlay that I use now that now that you why did it do oh my goodness okay apparently I won the match all right so the this is what it is it's actually very simple once you look at it uh, it is a just a rectangle and then a line to uh, like a border around the camera area and then a border around the chat area and this is for your uh, and you know how many matches you're playing what your record is in the event so people don't have to ask you it, it could take you five to ten minutes in photoshop just a very very rough outline these are just like very just thick borders that's it you know it doesn't have to be nearly as fancy as this so that's it that's what i'm going to add here so you go to right click you go to add you go to image also make sure that your image is transparent so that uh you don't want the white spaces to show up transparent means that the white sources will just not show up at all so things so it can be on top of things there's going to be layers involved if you don't understand layers we'll get to that in a second so we'll call it an overlay I gotta go find it and there we go there we go so this, i mean yeah this is what it looks like again it's very 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 easy and um on the sources area the one that's on top is the one that's gonna be on top of things because imagine your sources are all uh on, this is going to be one pile of sources, okay? The one that's on top is the one that when you're looking down, that's the one you're going to see that's going to be on top of things. So that's why that the overlay is on top of Magic Online and it, because it is further towards the top. So if you want Magic Online to be above overlay, you just put it above the overlay, but you don't want that because then you can't see the overlay. So uh, you want the overlay eventually at the end pretty high, but the pro, uh, you, can't, you don't want it high at the beginning because when you choose edit scene, it's always going to choose the overlay, which you don't want that to happen. So, again, as you can see what I'm capturing here, I'm not capturing all of Magic Online. I'm actually, I actually have a screen region. Let me see what my screen region is. For each person, it's different. For each overlay, it's different. I'm going to give you an example of mine. So this is my monitor capture. And to choose a, mon a, a size of your monitor that you want to capture that's not the entire thing, you choose subregion. A subregion means not the whole, mo I want monitor one, just a part of monitor one. So, and these are the numbers I use, 925, and then 1486, 1013. All right, so we're going to go over here. I'm going to go to Properties. We're going to go to Subregion. So, Position 925, and then 1486, and then 1013. Okay, so you go push OK. And so this is the region that I'm choosing of my monitor, okay? And... This is I. This, these numbers are not random. These are the ones I figured out by just measuring the inside of my overlay. And they, as you can see, it, it fits just right inside the overlay that I have selected. All right. So the reason why, the reason why you choose a small portion as opposed to everything, is, I guess I can show you another example. Let me just get my whole monitor for you again to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the whole monitor, and you also have a chat window. Oh, this is the wrong one. All right, this is the right one. Okay. All right, so as you can see, Magic Online has a lot of completely dead area. I guess you probably can't see me. You probably want to see me. All right, well, Magic Online has a ton of dead area, okay? All this over here, all this over here, all this over here. The, t the top where it says event and like where it is and the, your Windows taskbar. These are all completely dead areas. The, the person who is watching your stream does not want to see that because they're ugly and it doesn't help the user experience. What they actually want to see are the cards and the play mat and the graveyard and your life total and who they are, you know, all, all this stuff. Everything else is completely irrelevant. Uh, the amount of wasted space on the screen is one of the biggest problems of Magic Online 4.0, which is why we need to be, which is why it's up to the streamer to make it look presentable. Okay. So that's why we, so the, the reason why I choose just a small portion, 
uh, the portion that I've chosen here, this 925 in this small region, is that it cuts out all the garbage, okay? All the dead area, it cuts off the little bit off the top, and it cuts off everything on the right that you'd like. The, 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 the watcher does not need to see the chat uh, for the game, and it cuts off the Windows taskbar at the bottom. So as you can see, uh, this makes it look a lot, a lot better. And it also saves you space, and it makes you, it makes you able to fit things like your camera and chat and screen name and, and all that sort of whatnot. So now that we're here, I guess I probably would actually want to make mine a little bit smaller so I fit in this box that I made. Nice little box. Nice little box. Okay. Next step is you want to probably put these little, this little area that I have right here is um, below my below my camera. Uh, the first one is for a song title, if you so choose. You're probably not going to need that relatively soon, so I'm not going to bother going into that. It, though the process is always the same, is just choose a subregion. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to go right right click, you want to go to add, and you want to go to text. And for text, you say uh, you know, uh, event one. You can name. I use Mulboron. You can use whatever you'd like. Where are you, Mulboron? There you are. So I say uh, M15 sealed, blue, black. You put some spaces in there, and then you go one three because I'm a giant noob, and it's going to appear in the top left. So, and then you can use the the things on the sides, the little squares, to make it bigger or smaller and voila now you can make it whatever whatever color you'd like uh all you have to do is just go to color i don't know if you have to highlight it yet go to color um if you want to add a custom color you just click on this map or you type in some numbers i want to i want say i want this all right so oops so it's added a custom colors i just choose it i push i push okay and now my chat is that now my text is that color you can do that for both Again, you want to make sure these are towards the top because you want them to be on top of everything. And, and these will definitely just be on top of the overlay because, you know, if it's not on top of the overlay, the overlay will cover it up, as you can see. So, all right. I guess you probably want it right there. Okay. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to, you want to capture your chat. Okay, you don't have to capture your chat. In fact, uh, it's totally up to you as the streamer to decide whether you want to have chat on your stream or not. Some people will find it, it adds, some people will find it tracks, but I'm going to give you how to do it. All right, so you go to right click, you go to add, you go to window capture, because we don't want a monitor, we don't want a game, we want, there's a, it's a, it's a window. All right. So window capture, chat window, you want to label it as, and you want to go, uh, you don't have to choose captured layer windows here. Uh, you want to find where it is on minus Twitch, Google Chrome, as you can see here. So you want to choose that. You want to choose a subregion, okay? You want to, you don't want the entire thing. You want a smaller version of it. So you want to go to select a region. Well, does it seem to want to do it? Goodness gracious! Oh, goodness gracious! Can I put it over here? All right, that'll work. All right. Can you see it? All right. There we go. All right. So. You, uh, and then you're going to get this little white rectangle, and it's the actual outside of the right rectangle is the edges of it. And you can want to just modify it, so I want to be like this, a little bit a little bit on the left, so just a little bit on the right. Definitely don't want all this garbage on the bottom. All right, so this is the area I want to capture, okay? Then when you just select out, you need to push anything outside of it, okay? And once you've done that, you push OK. And there you go. On your screen will be what you're looking for. And then you can just fit it into your overlay like so. And if it doesn't, you got to hold on to controls. You it doesn't have to snap into place. And you make it bigger or smaller. It's, my, my, my numbers are a bit off. Uh, this is kind of just a guess and check thing unless you actually want to run the numbers yourself. I need to make it a little bit fatter. So uh, we're going to go to properties and just redo it a little bit. We need to make it a little bit taller like this. Push OK. And there we go. So now it fits. There we go. Uh, and it shows that. And what else? 
What else are we missing? What are so oh, we're missing the card preview window. Now, in my personal stream, I found it to be highly advantageous, and the lot, many of my viewers agree to have a card preview window. Now, the card preview window that Magic Online gives you is pretty garbage. Let me show you. Well, that's what it looks like. All right. So this, this is what it looks like. Uh, it has a bunch of wasted space. All right. You don't need the the top. This whole black bar at the top you don't want, and it doesn't really fit on the screen any like any like place that you actually would want it. Um, Magic Online comically allows you to to put it like right here, which is completely useless. Don't know why you would ever want to do that. However, I have a solution for you. So what you want to do is you want to go into your thing, in, into your sources, and you want to go to Add Window Capture, okay? Call it Card Preview Window. And you want to find it, and it's called Preview. Funnily enough, you've got to have capture layer windows for this, because it's a Magic Online. You want to choose a subregion. I'm going to select that region. And you want to choose just a, just a little bit of the outside the art right here. All right. So once you've done that, you push OK, and voila. You can edit scene. I put it I put it right over here when I'm playing. Cover a little bit of that chat up. The chat doesn't need to see itself. And while you're playing, where you're when you're moving over things, that's gonna show up. For, it looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Uh, now pr the problem is every single game it goes away. Literally every single game. Like if you go to game one and you win the game, you lose the game. You go to game, you go to cyborg and you go to game two, it goes away because it's not programmed very well. So what you have to do is you have to go right click, you have to go to properties. All you have to do is just push refresh. You push refresh and it'll show right back up. Um, let me just actually see if I can show you what I mean. All right, so attach this right here. And as you can see in our window, it has gone away. All right. So I'm going to go play first. And even though it's on this screen, it's not in our it's not in our in our overlay. It's not on our source list. So you have to go right click, you have to go properties, you have to go to refresh. And it'll come right back as you can see. So that's how you do that. And that is the step-by-step -step process on how to create a scene.